Hi, Teacher Judy here, and today we are going to look at Faith Ringgold, who was born in Harlem in 1930. She's an art teacher, a painter, a writer, a speaker, a mixed media sculptor, quilt maker, and an art professor. When she was young, she would often stay home with her mom because she had bad asthma, but her mom, who was a fashion designer, would teach her a lot about art and fabric. Let's take a look at these early paintings. She also wrote many children's books. She once said, when I was a little girl growing up in Harlem, I was always encouraged to value who I was and go after what I want. Ever since I was young, I've had a need to express my ideas through art. Being an artist and a writer of children's books is a fulfillment of my lifelong ambition. This is her first book called Tar Beach. A girl uses her imagination as sore from the tar beach roof of her family's Harlem home. Faith Ringgold discovered a new way to tell stories and also combine her artwork, and she created these story quilts which she became the most famous for. As a child, her great-grandma taught her how to quilt. Quilt making was a deep family tradition and an important way to tell stories. You can see that she has imagery in the center of these quilts that basically tell a story about something. And there is a border that goes around that's more of the fabric and the pattern of a quilt. And you often will see words incorporated into the imagery as well. Faith Ringgold once said, anyone can fly. All you need is somewhere to go that you can't get to any other way. The next thing you know, you're flying among the stars. I became an artist so that I could tell my story. And I just decided, when somebody says you can't do something, do more of it, accelerate. That's the way you get it done. 